All right, guys, we're back with winners semifinals of doubles here. We have BBW and TSS versus number one and two of Colorado, Bang and Shu. So far, we see the about even percents on both teams. We have a Diddy Kong and a Cloud on BBW and TSS. Classic Diddy Kong Yoshi with Bang and Shu. So already noticing that we see two bananas on the ground. <laughs> Shu trips over both of them. Um, Bang putting some pressure on TSS. TSS getting with the back air. We see again his up air coming out and taking out uh, Shu from the landing. Let's see. Cross slash on Shu's egg. And followed by a forward smash. Lowing into that false sense of security. There's like no lag after that side. At the same time, BBW gets taken out off the top. Let's see. We got TSS coming in, putting some damage and rolling back to a down smash, taking out Bang's first stock. Uh, right now, TSS being the real uh, carrying this game with three stocks, 23% only. Let's see how the uh, red team can respond to this. I mean, they're putting a lot of pressure on taking out BBW. Maybe to just drain TSS's stocks with stocks there at the end. Let's see. And I think I'm, I'm joined by Flamingo here. Hey, guys. How's it going? It's Flamingo here. Flamingo, what are you seeing right now? What, what, can, what can the red team... see a bunch of top tiers and a hopeless Yoshi. <laughs> 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 I understand that. You understand that feel very well. But what, what, what's Shu right doing right now? Dude? I mean, he's battling BBW. You see him trying to get stage control. It seems like the opposite team with TSS and BBW, they're trying to isolate the Diddy Kong, which is a smart idea because Yoshi can't really do much when he's alone mm. against in the dubs. He needs to be supporting them with Diddy Kong with those up throw, up there combos that you usually see them too. So Diddy Kong, with Bang, isolated, they're able to, I mean, Yoshi can get knocked out by disjoints from Cloud and stuff. Look at that, like that. Beautiful. That's what the other team needs to do. They need to focus on the Diddy Kong because Diddy Kong is the playmaker. He's the damage and playmaker. Yoshi's just an execution. Yeah. You, you see it there. Yeah, Bang you looking for that pivot grabbed up throw. And the stocks are now flying away. You're absolutely right. Look at this. We have three stocks to four. That being said, Bang going in on BBW. And here come the barrels. Almost taking out Shu off the top. Blue team with stage control. Red team right. on either side. Blue team should already be focused on the bang. On bang. Mm. So you see, uh, did he, once you have Yoshi off stage, there's no point to ledge guard him. He's used to the setup. He has no job to fulfill. That's a very good point. So instead of edge guarding the guy with high percent, you can just take him out on stage when he gets back. But make sure that Bang, the playmaker, is put down. Yeah. Good tech there by Bang, but the back here sneaks in from the BW. Oh, now him now it's time for the Yoshi to get punished. Now Diddy Kong is back. Let's see what happens. Yeah, absolutely. Nice up throw down here from Bang. Uh, TSS covering the up throw with his forward smash of his own. Uh, we see Shu just kind of hanging out above, waiting for Bang. You're right, the plank, the playmaker. But unfortunately he gets whisked off the side. Ooh, good monkey flip to up smash from Bang and Shu there. And we see they're taking TSS off stage. Bang, looking for the edge card TSS, trying to catch him there. Both get back safely. All right. Yoshi missed the beam reversal right there. You could have locked him up to the video. Oh, there you go. Nice kill. The dagger, that up air is so strong. Doubles. Absolutely. So we have one stock apiece now with BBW looking very precarious on 122% here. Shu trying to see if he can get okay. some sort of confirm. So now they're trying to get, okay, now they're split. Yoshi is definitely the target. I, I don't agree with this. I think the TSS should be guarding BBW a little bit better. But then again, Cloud's disjoints can kill Diddy Kong at this percent, so maybe it's better just to leave him be. Yeah. Diddy Kong can take care of himself. That Diddy Kong gets fixated on protecting Yoshi. <sighs> again, these guys are just so consistent with their up throw up airs. I mean, I've, they've been teaming together for a while now, but Bang just sat there with him in his hands, and TSS could not get to him in time for Shu to be right above. I believe that up throw could possibly extend the hit. The hurt box for Yoshi's up here to be confirmed. Hmm. I wonder if that's true. I mean, regardless, it doesn't seem too difficult to hit. Yeah, the mobility on that up. Or the up oh, oh, he went for the back through the back air. Yeah, trying to keep this cloud off. Trying to gimp him. It makes sense, though. It's a cloud. Yeah. It's better than trying to put him in the air because he has some pretty decent landing options. Uh oh. This game's not unwinnable. TSS right now. If he gets limit, he can kill them both with one limit. See what happens. Yeah, the beauty of Cloud. Yeah. Get, oh, gets the pivot. Uh, grab he has though. a banana in hand, which is quite deadly. What's his? Uh, does, uh, I believe his objective while banana in hand was to charge limit because he does have something that he could roll away from and he could throw a banana to create space. He's very close to limit. You can see he's going to get it right here, but he's dead. Uh, there confirms. it is. Beautiful stuff. It confirms, and all that Diddy needs is a grab. And Diddy's very good at getting a grab, whether it's through as the pivot grabs we're coming out with from Bang a lot, or even just throwing a banana, forcing shield, or even having them trip. So, you know, we do see that getting a grab in doubles is a superior strategy. Well, I believe it's superior when it's a uh, two-on-one. When it's on two-on-two, there is a lot of lag. Like, like a lot of lag that's uh, you're 
You could be vulnerable. A, yeah, very vulnerable. Right, but I, you're right, the two-on-one. I mean, even though in 2v2, there was times where just taking... The grab takes two people out of the equation. Now it's a 1v1, and then the ha throw has to happen. I think in, where it works is, again, you have to throw the person off stage, your opponent's a teammate off stage, and then do the 2v1 situations to do a confirmed mm. kill. That's why I say, like, in doubles, you have to separate the team and then focus on one, two-on-one. It's, oh, that, you're allowed to do that. Oh, my God. Bang. That is dirty, my friend. He throwing the down throw to down air. Taking TSS out. He knows TSS was the big threat from last game. Yeah, taking out the cloud. Oh, uh -oh. And the double barrels! Bang gonna make it? No, he's uh, not gonna make it. So, so it's an eye for an eye at that point, but still, Bang, Bang and Shu are still on the lead with a stock advantage. Yeah, man. And Shu, Shu staying on the board here, just trying to find those punishes off of his playmaker, which is Bang. And Bang's fine with taking that, that trade with the Diddy. But right, right now, good, good idea. Throwing the Yoshi off station, focus on the playmaker. But it seems like their plan has. Uh, they forgot about it. <laughs> oh, I will. All right, there you go. There's Bang. There's Bang's Bang alone, Diddy. but Don't BBW worry. is going after Shu. You're right. And, and, you know, if they can get that KO, it could be worth it. But I think you're right. You tunnel visioning too much. Yeah. Once Shu's off stage, he's not going to be a threat. So not, if you could, you know, corner the corner Bang, that's not going to take it. Yeah, corner bang, focus on getting a lot of damage, fixate bang on trying to play more defensive, and then on a two-on-one, yeah, definitely, it'll be much more easier to secure a kill. Yoshi is not is nothing against two of Yoshi right now is playing against two opponents that are completely his weakness in matchup. We're playing against a Cloud and a Diddy. They should not be worrying about it. They should be worrying about the equation, which is yeah. Diddy Kong, because yeah. that's the only way they're balanced. And Diddy Kong has, Bang has skill. Bang has skill to back it up, and he's playing a great character. But really in the Yoshi run around, he's gonna do the plays and he's gonna execute. Good kill. Oh, not a kill yet. The Nair coming out and uh, else that he's oh, oh, he saved uh, his jump. TSS showing that he's very proficient with his character. Uh, but we do see now it's, f it's five stocks to four, and they still have not been able to take out Shu, which again is, may not be their ba concern, um, but that rage is should be. <laughs> and now it should be. At this point, I mean, look at that. Two quick kills. Simple as that. Um, I, I guess the TSS might want to focus more just finding a stray hit. That's all he really needs an up air or a back air on this Yoshi. You should probably take him out no matter where he's on the stage. Even if that up tilt could kill the Yoshi at this point. Mm. From Diddy? From, uh, from, from Cloud. Cloud, up tilt. I'm, I'm, while we were talking about that, we see BBW get taken off the right side of the stage. Fortunately, that's not what happened now. So Hey, it's, it looks, it's looking pretty grim now for TSS. Four stocks from the number one and two in Colorado. <laughs> Bang looking for some style. Gets caught by a down air. Shu pokes him over there, but Bang busy throwing up a mana, and here comes to confirm. Oh, down air to nope. There. He's looking for the damage right now. Yeah, once he's had upper kills at 110, so. Hmm. Now 110 only. 98 not gonna oh. be. Yeah, look at this Yoshi 110. man. 110. 110, it's time. Oh, cross slash not gonna take it. Barrels it's flying. Grab. One grab and it's over. And there it is. Dead. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Story. <laughs> look at you go. All right, guys, we see right here uh, Bang and Shu taking a pretty convincing win over BBW and TSS, although uh, the Cloud-Diddy combo did have a pretty strong game one. Give them a run for their money, especially TSS having 13% maybe a minute and a half into the game or so. I think just, that's unfortunate. They should have stuck with their idea of just splitting up the team, taking out the quarterback. Do you take out their brain? How are they going to function? The executioner is only focusing on what the quarterback is going to give them. Mm. So that's a quick little dubs tip for all of you guys that are trying to get better at dubs. Yeah. Dubs is a very unique way to play Smash, and I mean, it, it seems to show the reason that this playmaker into executioner style mm -hmm. works wonders. It does, it does. It, it, you gotta find the right character that does those kind of positions. There's also like a playmaker such as fixing a stage, control stage presence. Other characters do have that. Just oh. understanding what they do and how you could apply it to the game.